hello students uh, welcome back to my channel i will be continuing with video solutions to some typical problems asked in ja advance examinations today i am taking a question from uh, ja advance 2020 paper 1 it's a very simple question from titrations based on volumetric analysis there is a small concept which students often miss in the titration it is regarding uh, some practical uh, application of titration how do we actually perform the titration experiment in the laboratory how do we take down the readings it is based on that okay. let me share the question first and then i'll be solving it so this is the question 5 ml of 0.1 molar oxalic acid solution is taken in a conical flask 5 ml of 0.1 molar oxalic acid is taken in a conical flask and is titrated against NOH from a burette using phenolphthalein indicator. The volume of NOH required for appearance of permanent faint pink color. This is the end point of phenolphthalein. The volume of NOH required for appearance of permanent faint pink color is tabulated below for five experiments. The volume of NOH is given as in the first experiment, the volume of NOH is 12.5 ml. In the second experiment, it is 10.5 ml and then 9, 9 and 9 ml. So volumes of NOH is given. Now, normally, how do we solve it? Normal uh, concept is we'll find out the average volume of NMH consumed and we'll equate the volume equivalence of NMH to equivalence of oxalic acid and we'll find out the molarity of NMH by equating the number of equivalents of NMH and the number of equivalents of oxalic acid. Okay. But what a um, common mistake what the students do is they consider all these five observations and take the average. If you consider all these five observations and take the average, the average volume of NOH consumed as per this, the average volume of NOH consumed as per this will be 12.5 plus 10.5 plus 3 into 9 divided by 5. And if you calculate it, this will be 23 plus 27 by 5, that is equal to 10 ml. And if we solve as per this, the molarity of NMH will say that equivalence of oxalic acid, oxalic acid is H2C2O4, it has two ionizable hydrogen atoms is equal to equivalence of NMH at the end point. This is the basic principle. Okay. N factor of oxalic acid will be 2. Molarity of oxalic acid and volume of oxalic acid is given in the problem. Molarity of oxalic acid is 0 0.5, volume of oxalic acid is 5 ml. So we'll put the values. Molarity is 0 0.1, volume is 5. For NOH, it has only one hydroxyl group per molecule. So its n factor will be 1. Uh, its molarity we have to determine. And volume of NOH, average volume of NOH consumed, we put it as 10. Okay. If we solve it, this give us this will give us value of molarity as 0 0.1. Okay. But this is not the correct answer. This is the wrong answer. What mistake we have done here, it's very important to understand our mistake here. And it's a very common mistake. Very uh, many of my students do this mistake. What is important in titration that when we actually perform the titration experiment, we don't know before the experiment, we don't know the actual end point. When we add NOH from the burette, we don't know where to stop the addition of NOH. Okay. So we start adding NOH. And as soon as the indicator changes color, we stop the addition of NOH. So the first reading just gives us an approximate idea of the NOH. The first two readings, first reading, second reading, they often are not very accurate. They give us an approximate idea of the endpoint. Once we have got an idea of the endpoint, then the subsequent experiments are repeated. The subsequent experiments are carried out in such a manner that addition of the uh, NOH from the burette will be done very slowly near the endpoint so as to detect the exact endpoint. So the principle behind is the theory behind is we take average of the concordant readings, not all the readings. We'll ignore the first two readings here. If you see that the first value is 12.5, second value is 10.5, we'll ignore these two values. Okay, from the third reading onwards, the values are concordant. The values are same: 9.0, 9.0, 9.0. Normally we can take variations of 0.1 ml in the concordant reading. So we, if the 
values are 9.0 and 9.1, then also we'll take that. Take that. We'll take the values. We'll take the average of NMH. We'll calculate the average volume of NMH consumed by considering the last three values. We'll ignore the first three values. So this is an important concept here. Okay. So this solution is a mistake. We have done a mistake in this solution. Okay. This is a wrong solution. What is the mistake here? We have considered this 12.5 and 10.5. We don't have to consider the first two readings. We'll consider only the concordant reading. That is the third, fourth, and fifth readings. Now we again solve it. Okay. So we'll calculate the average volume of NOH. The th third, fourth, and fifth readings are exactly same. In the average, we will get 9 here. The volume of NOH consumed at the end point will be taken as 9 ml. Now we'll apply equivalence of H2C to 4, 2 into 0 0.1 into 5 is equal to 1 into molarity into volume of NOH consumed will be 9. And if you solve it, from here we'll get molarity of NOH is equal to 1 by 9, which is 0 0.111 recurring. So up to two decimals, if you write the answer, it is 0 0.11 molar. So molarity of NOH will mark it as 0 0.11 molar. Important point here is yeah, we, we have to ignore the first two readings. We'll take the average of only the concordant readings. It was a numerical integer type question. We had to mark the answers accurate up to two digits after decimal. So in the OMO, in the uh, evaluation sheet, we'll put fill in our values as 0 0.11. I, I hope I am very clear on the solution to this question. This is a simple question, uh, straightforward, not much calculations involved. Take a, a simple concept, equating the equivalence of NOH and equivalence of oxalic acid. Take we have to correctly put the N factor of oxalic acid N factor of oxalic acid will be two. And we have to correctly take the volume of NOH, which will be nine ml. So that's it. Thank you, everyone. Uh, we'll be putting more videos. I'll be putting more similar videos. Take okay, shortly. Thank you.